I believe we have very serious immigration problems uh, in this country. I think, as you've heard today, sanctions against employers who hire illegal immigrants is virtually non-existent. Our border is very porous. Welcome back to another episode of Andrew Says I Wouldn't Lie to You, except for maybe this once. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We need your shares. We need your Bitcoin. We need your free Subway coupons. We need all of it. And the point of today's video, or yesterday or tomorrow, whenever you're watching it, I don't know what time zone you're in, is that all the Democrats right now, currently, the high-ranking ones anyways, Everything they hate about border patrol, border security, immigration, they all used to completely agree with the Republicans or with Trump or anyone who's strict on the border. Literally all of them, I'm going to go ahead and say. And they would just get killed in the media today if they were to say any of this stuff. If they would have come close to anything they used to say, Clintons, Feinstein, Bernie Sanders, Chuck Schumer, if they said anything like this today, it would... It would be completely collapse their entire story. Their entire bit would be over. It would just be like Wayne's World without Mike Myers. Or when they replaced that 70s show, when they got rid of uh, Kelso and Eric Foreman and they replaced it with that guy who's uh, Seth Myers' brother. So, so check it out and count how many people you can see that have the exact opposite opinion today. If making it easy to be an illegal alien isn't enough, how about offering a reward for being an illegal immigrant? No, sun, no sane country would do that, right? Guess again. If you break our laws by entering this country without permission and give birth to a child, we reward that child with U.S. citizenship and guarantee a full access to all public and social services this society provides. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. I think we can enforce our borders. I think we should enforce our borders. To have a situation where 40% of the babies born on Medicaid in California today are born of illegal immigrants creates a very real problem for I'm deeply opposed to illegal immigration, and I call on the federal government, the president, and the immigration services to stop the inflood of illegal immigrants into this country. So that's just half of the video. There's more of that that I'm going to show you. But what I wanted to interject with was, remember when they were saying this was all a border crisis? And this isn't pro-Republican or anti-Democrat sentiment here. This is a, these people used to say one thing, and now they're saying the exact opposite, depending on the situation and the climate here when it's all it, it it's not something you can just change your mind on with the drop of a hat and all of a sudden i'm for open borders all of a sudden i'm you know this is evil even though 10 years ago i thought it was completely reasonable so remember when they were saying months ago that it was all manufactured crisis that the border was not out of control there weren't way too many people coming in just let them in it's not a big deal and now it's the worst thing in the world now it's the they're calling it concentration camps. They're calling it Chuck. Uh, they're calling Trump a monster. They're calling it. People are posing pictures of Mike Pence where he's walking along the fence of the facility and putting concentration camps below that as if it's anything close, as if it's not a voluntary thing to come to the border. And, you know, it's just crazy. So here's some examples. The whole list, there is a list um, from the Federalist that's eight times. They said the border, manu border crisis was manufactured and made up. Picked a few of them. Don Lemon, January 17th. And I'd show you the video, but nobody wants to sit through that much Don Lemon. All of this disruption and chaos in the government is still shut down because of a manufactured crisis. Oh, really, Don? Oh, really, Foo? Remember that time when Jim Acosta went to the border and he took these pictures and he thought he was owning people only to own himself, you know? When he got to the border wall and he's like, here are the steel slabs in the border wall the president's talking about. And I don't see anything resembling a national emergency situation. Hey guys, the wall really works here. So it's 
it's kind of like, uh, you know, you put a wall here and people don't cross it. Jim Acosta, I found some steel slats down on the border, but I don't see anything resembling a national emergency situation. Again, New York Times podcast, The Daily, on January 8th. Is there a crisis at the border? Trump says there's a problem, but it may be one of his own making. Trump may have magically <laughs> placed holograms of illegal immigrants at the border to say that there's too many of them and for some reason build a wall just because he wants the wall built even though they don't really need it. So he just wants to waste money on a wall because it's cool. It's okay. Um, now it's concentration camps. Now it's they're drinking from toilets. Now it's the worst thing ever because they just want everybody to let them in. They just want everybody let in. It, it doesn't really make any sense. So as it stands right now, you have 21 days. What they're trying to get changed is the fact that it's 21 days to see a judge if you get asylum or if you're claiming asylum, which is what happens when people get caught. Obviously, they're just going to claim asylum or else you go right to the border and be like, hey, I'm in trouble. Please let me in. You wouldn't just sneak across and risk getting caught. When you could get, like, if, if you get, if you're an asylum seeker, then you get, like, social benefits. They're going to take care of you, right? So why would you take the risk of crossing the border? First of all, it's way harsher to cross, like, in the desert or through a river. You wouldn't do that. You'd just go to the port of entry and be like, hey, help us, please. So they have 21 days to see a judge, which, of course, they don't because there's, as it stands, over 50,000 people in detention. So after three weeks, they just let them go and say, please come back. So obviously, you hope that people come back. And you want to trust that people are doing it for the right thing. But here's the thing. Some people is bad. You know, some people in the world ain't so nice. So obviously, a bunch of them don't come back. And obviously, a bunch of them are claiming asylum that aren't eligible for asylum. So they just do that and they don't come back. Like, even if the numbers are really low and people say that the... It's like 90% of people that don't come back, and then people strike back and say it's only like 30% of people that don't come back. Even if it's 10% of people that don't come back out of like 600,000 or something that come in a year, that's still a ton of people just coming into your country, doing whatever they want. You have no idea who they are because they lied in the first place, or else they would have came back. And now you're just stuck with a bunch of people who are willing to lie to get into your country, and who knows what else they're going to do. Like, you can't... There's no way to know. So it's better to be on the safe side. So I just wanted to point out that there's way more people in the government that are just willing to say whatever is the thing at the time or pretend that they believe in something just for to, to gain power, to gain, gain votes. They were either lying then or they're lying now. They're, you can't really be in between. It's worse now. Back then, they were just like, this is a terrible problem and we need to solve it. And now the situation gets even worse and they're just like, no, no solving required. Let me know what you think after you watch the rest of the video in the comments. I believe we have very serious immigration problems uh, in this country. I think, as you've heard today, sanctions against employers who hire illegal immigrants is virtually non-existent. Our border is very porous. Well, look, I voted. Uh, uh, numerous times when I was a senator to spend money to build a, uh, a barrier to try to prevent um, illegal immigrants from coming in. Um, and I do think you have to control your borders. Uh, we simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully uh, to become immigrants. Is that illegal immigration is wrong, plain and simple. Until the American people are convinced that we will stop future flows of illegal immigration, we will make no progress.